Hey y'all, welcome back to I Breathe TV. Go ahead and leave me a like, subscribe to my channel, and also leave me your comments after hearing what I got to say in this video. So by the title, you know it is about Miss Keisha Kaylee and AKA Keisha and the leeway, AKA Miss Ashley. So um, I know this is a topic that's been going on for almost a year. Um, it's, still, it's still a relevant topic in a sense. So I'm going to talk about it all I want to. Um, when I feel like stopping I'm talking about it, I will. If I don't, I will. Whatever. But this is what, I'm, this is what my channel is about. It's about commentary, okay? And unbiased, okay? So, um... Pretty much what this video here is about is just, you know, trying to make sense of what I heard, what I came across when it came to Miss um, Keisha Kaylee and the leeway involving Jeremy Postel. So we all heard the conversation from months ago when um, Yes, I'm Hazel did, uh, she went live that weekend because she was being attacked so she defended herself she went live that weekend and she she let everybody listen to the conversation between her and keisha the full-on conversation after somebody came out trying to you know twist up the words and that recording that miss delonda had was spliced because when the when uh, hazel played hers it was different so um I wanted to say this to any female out there, okay? I don't give a damn what's being said to you, what's being told, how things are supposed to be, how things... The bottom line is you should never, ever, ever take disrespect from anybody. From anybody. When you are taking disrespect, you are teaching the other person how to treat you very poorly. And I know Keisha said something about how she was very, a very, very forgiving person and she even said it before herself in one of her older videos. She said, I got to stop letting people just get over on me. I got to stop allowing people um, to just, you know, do things. And I just let them get away with it. I'm just being a pushover. She acknowledged that part about herself, uh, which is, you know, to me, taking accountability for where, for where you went wrong or where you failed at in your life, period. And that should be for everybody. Take some kind of accountability for some part of your life. So I'll give her that part. Um, but when it came to her, basically, in my opinion, is excusing Jeremy's cheating. I was like, no, ma'am, that's disrespect right there that you are constantly taking. But you say you are a very forgiving person and a person who was always forgiving. They take abuse and mistreatment constantly. And they take it, in my opinion, because I've done it before, at one point in my life, to where a person would do things to me and, you know, I'll just, you know, okay, whatever, you know, I forgive you, let's move on. But yet they continuously kept doing it. That person does not give a damn about you. And plus, you are doing nothing but damaging your mental and damaging your emotional state. Like, on the outside, you're okay with them, but on the inside, you are very angry at them you know what i'm saying like you are eating yourself up and killing yourself while they're walking around this bitch like oh, okay everything's okay we're fine but you're not okay you know what i'm saying and keisha is not okay with this man cheating on her but the fact that she is sitting here um making excuses um for him doing it saying she was pregnant and you know he wanted to have sex so bad and she didn't want him to touch her you know just you know just you know just leave me alone and you know you got passed and all that shit i'm like girl any man who, who really loves you and plus he knows like when keisha was pregnant he knew what she was going through as far as her um her health during the pregnancy um when it came to her and the girls um, to where if she did have sex, she could bleed to death and her and the kids could die. Um, instead of him being a understanding, selfless uh, father to be, he decides to go out there and just have sex with a plethora of bitches. Um, Ashley is not a side chick. She's been there from the beginning. Um, also, 
Jeremy and Keisha were not together. They both acknowledged that. So I don't understand this whole part of uh, Ashley's a side chick, a side chick, a side chick. No, that's not how it works. Because like Keisha said, he and I were not together when I was pregnant. Jeremy said the same thing as well, but yet turn around and something else is being said. Which one is it? Because your book is saying one thing, but then over here is something different. Um, also, she said the reason why she does not like Ashley is because Ashley did not know her place as far as being one of the bitches that Jeremy was fucking. First of all, it's not about knowing no place. It's about your man having respect for you, period. And the fact that you came out here trying to make it seem as if Ashley uh, still fucking my man and I, I asked her not to and all that. Girl, listen to what you are saying. You're making the clown. First of all, I never would have gotten out there. And didn't your father tell you, baby, it's best to not put your business out there? But you did anyway. And Keisha, you were very excited about the book until you got the feedback that you did not want um and it's very true like some things keep to yourself you know what i'm saying because once it's out there in the atmosphere is out there you know what i'm saying and the best thing you could do yeah, is out there but the best thing you could do is just overcome that you know it is what it is i'll put it out there i'm moving on peace i'm gone next subject you know but hey I can't tell you how to ruin your life. I ain't trying to tell you that at all. Just, you know, give, just giving my, my peace on that. Um, and I just feel like, you know, with the whole, with her trying to, you know, I guess, come come at Ashley on her lives, her recent lives. It's like, man, you're, you're making a clown out of yourself. You just said what you said. You're mad at everybody else but the nigga that vowed loyalty to you. That's the part where people are trying to get you to understand what you are saying and trying to get you to understand what's really going on because, yes, I know Jeremy loves you, you know, because you are the mother of his his children. Um, I get all of that. But at the same time, he has to show respect to you, period. I don't give a damn what's being told, what's being said, however he's feeling. He's horny. Nigga, go to that bathroom. And I know some females don't like it when they men, you know, look at porn and stuff like that. I get it. But it's like, baby, if you that horny, I'd rather for you to do that than actually leave our home and fuck a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Or bring any hoes in our freaking apartment or our, our home, period, and doing it to them. You know what I'm saying? So, no. And plus, he knows what's going on. He, he would be more understanding. But, no, he was being very selfish, which he, I think, I think he admitted he was being very selfish. Um, so at least, you know, one point for Jeremy on that too. I guess he, if, if he did do it, I don't, shit, I don't recall, but I'm, I'm assuming that he did, you know, in my, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, and I'm also, also say this in my prior videos, I've had said that, uh, that Lily was wrong. I've said that before. I've said, yes, Lily was very wrong because if this is what's going on and this is how it is, then why are you still talking to this man? You know what I'm saying? Because, yes, he is out with his lady, Keisha, on the platform. Yes, he is. But yet he's telling you something different. But yet you don't know what's going on. You know, he's confusing. Yeah, that part. Yeah, Ashley, you should have walked away from him with that. But then again, you know, I don't, I'm not, like I say, we are not in this only you Keisha and Jeremy so y'all know more than what we know okay um but had a nigga done that with me you know oh I like you this and this and that it's a job and this and this and that I'm gonna take it as okay what you're doing is not adding up to what you're saying to me so I'm gonna step back and leave it alone people love saying what well, Ashley be be hitting him up but guess what though he answers every time every time he answers and how Keisha said that she did not pick Ashley when in previous recordings it's been put out there you have picked it you did pick this girl because you know she has a girlfriend because Ashley I think she's bisexual um she got a girlfriend and she didn't want everybody to know what's going on whatever the fucking story was and therefore she was a perfect candidate for Jeremy to fuck on and it's like, Keisha, this, if this man does not want to be faithful to you and only 
have sex with you only, then you shouldn't even be dealing with him because you, I don't care. You are putting your, no, he's putting you at risk. Okay, not saying that Ashley is nasty, his other hoe is nasty, but you know how it is out here. People just be randomly fucking people. And some of these motherfuckers don't even wear condoms. Therefore, he's bringing shit back to you, putting your shit at risk. You know what I'm saying? Risk. So, that's the part where I, you know, um, don't really like because... Tisha, you are very beautiful, and I said it before. Now, I'm one of the motherfuckers that said... That did not say that you were ugly. I say that you are very pretty. Um, you may have, you know, ugly ways. Like a lot of us got ugly ways. You know, we can change that. You know what I'm saying? So, you are a very beautiful Keisha. But I think you need to learn how to put yourself first, period. Fuck trying to put on an appearance to please people that you don't know or whatever. It's, girl, please. It's not even, no, it's not needed. And also with Ashley, I feel like, you know, I wouldn't even fuck with Jeremy like that on, on that level. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't. That's that's just me. I, I wouldn't do it. Um, So, like I say, it's just, it's just me. Um, Also, I've heard, Le- not, not Lily, uh, Yes, I'm Hazel's Live um, this past weekend. And I'll honestly say that what she is what she said in her video her whole um presentation was very accurate ashley i like you but i honestly feel like you should have stuck up for your friend and went for your went hard for your friend or at least uh defended your friend when shit went sour i wish you would have because that girl um was there for you she was riding for you and you know at least you know she had your back when you was out here you know just you know, feeling like you were alone. That girl had that girl had your back. She had your back. And the fact that you just sat there and you let people just come at her like that, you know, I didn't I didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? And then just to hear that, you know, on the way to getting, you know, a COVID test, you know, she got into a very bad accident. Um and she could have, you know, lost her life in that. Um and there was no no sympathy. You know. So I'm like, well, dang, Ashley, you know, I know y'all ain't cool, but at least, you know, defend your defend this girl who who had your back. And let's be honest, Hazel has been attacked, which she has been attacked constantly by Delonda and whoever else got a problem with her. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, you cannot like somebody, but when you gotta go to the limbs of trying to hurt somebody's pre uh, somebody's uh, reputation with lies. Because you got Delonda out here calling people child p words, saying that Hazel had sex with Jeremy, saying all of these things with no evidence. That's not cool at all. Like, that's not cool to me. Like, you cannot like a motherfucker all day long, but you ain't gotta lie on them like that. That ain't player. That's not cool. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's my little um that's this thing maybe all over the place, whatever. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and just get out of here. I gotta go get myself something to eat because a bitch is hungry. Um, y'all have a wonderful day. Please, you guys, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Keep it respectful, vice versa. And y'all have a blessed day. Like my video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>